Brunel. Uh, clearly, uh, you were effective here as the special envoy uh, to these talks between Serbia and Kosovo. But I wanted to ask you about another initiative you led. Uh, last year, you kicked off the Trump administration push to decriminalize homosexuality. Yeah, I'm going to just talk about Kosovo and Serbia. I'm, I don't know if you can find it on a map. But this is atrocious. I have to tell you guys, you might be too young to understand what this issue is about. Maybe the older journalists should step up and say, this is a big deal. This is a big issue. I I'm astounded at what happens in Washington, DC, and especially in this room. I, I got to tell you, get substantive. Maybe it's too complicated of an issue for you all. Rick, respectfully, but this is the first time we've had the opportunity to speak with these individuals. So okay, but today's last post on Serbia. Let's take a little time and talk about this 21-year issue, Peter. I mean, 21-year issue. We're getting the same questions that are all politics. I don't. You guys don't understand what's happening outside of Washington D.C. People aren't listening to you anymore. It. It's really a crisis in journalism. And I think it's because people are too young to understand issues like Kosovo and Serbia. All right, can I ask How about a Rick substantive question? Please? I don't think any of us came here for a lecture about our questioning. Okay, well, I didn't come but the here question to I would like to ask you, The question Serbia. I would like to ask you is, is it accurate to say that it's full economic normalization? There was some ambiguity as to whether that